Welcome to the Ultra Optics Mini 2 Understanding Inputs video. What we're going to be discussing is how to read your inputs, what's controlling them, and what they control. So we'll start off with what we're looking at on the PLC right now are inputs 8 and 10 that are lit up on your PLC. 8 is the input sensor for spindle up, 10 is the input sensor for swing arm left. So right now, our Mini 2 is in the above the washbowl position, upwards and to the left. This is your standard position in an idle situation. Uh, you may have your safety door shut. If your safety door is shut, notice how number 11 just turned on. That is the signal from your magnetic switch on your door getting to the PLC. Now what we're going to do is briefly explain where your inputs are coming from. Um, just a brief description of what they are. They could be triggered by a sensor or a toggle switch or a button. So to start off with, we're going to have our machine in idle at the ready for spin coating a lens. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to open our door. You'll notice number 11 turned off. So now our door is open. We can now put a lens into the machine. Typically what you do right now is flip your vacuum chuck switch on. Now what that's doing is turning your vacuum on. So your vacuum transducer is now generating vacuum, but there's no lens on it right now. What's gonna happen when we put a lens on is your switch on your vacuum transducer is going to send a signal to the number seven input. This is going to make your machine understand that there's a lens on. What we're going to do now is shut the door again and right here, this is your combination of lights letting the machine know that it is ready to start a process. So what we'll do now is we'll press the start switch. Notice that zero turned on and off. That means the start signal has been activated and it will start going through its process. So now the spindle will go down. You'll notice that we had a change in lights. We now have lights three on and eight off. So spindle or uh, input eight for spindle up is now off. Spindle three is now on. Spindle three is the position sensor on your lift cylinder for spindle down. Right now what would be happening is the process of washing and drying the lens. Once that cycle is complete, the spindle will come back up and it'll swing to the right. Now you'll notice that your number 10 light turned off and your nine light turned on. What it's going to then do is run back down. Now your down position sensor is on again, your right position sensor is on again, and it is spin coating lens. Once that's complete, it's going to come back up. And you'll notice that your coating cycle complete lamp is flickering. That means your lens is done and ready to be put into the cure unit. So what'll happen now, you'll open your door, notice 11 turned off. You'll reach in and grab your lens. You'll flip the vacuum chuck off. You'll notice six turned off as well as seven. So there's no more signal for vacuum or reading vacuum signal, six and seven, going to your PLC. Once you've removed the lens, the spindle will move back over the wash station to its left and up position. So that's your typical cycle of a Mini 2. We've closed our door again. We've got 8, 10, and 11 on.
seem to be having difficulty with eight, but you get the general idea. What's going on now is I'm going to briefly explain what each one of these inputs does. So to start with, we've got our input zero. What input zero is, is your start switch. When you are holding your start switch, it turns on. Now I'm just flickering it for you just to get a better visual of what's going on. So when I press that, your cycle should start provided 8, 10, 11, 6, and 7 are all lit. Input 1 is your cycle stop switch. At any time during your production cycle, if this cycle stop switch, input one, has become active, it will stop your cycle immediately. On newer machines with safety door updates, the cycle stop switch will need to be pressed in order to continue with any function of the machine. This is more like a safety reset that needs to happen upon startup. Input number two is not used. It's an obsolete function of the machine. Spindle three, that is your spindle down sensor. So located on the main cylinder shaft of the machine, on your lift cylinder, there is a sensor located on the main lift cylinder shaft. It will illuminate with a red LED if the sensor itself is active. It's also going to send that input signal to input three. Input four is coat prime. You'll notice on the right side of your control panel, there is a small toggle switch. If you flip it to the up position, that input four will turn on indicating that your machine is currently ready to perform the coating pump prime function, which will allow you to prime your coating system, bleed air out of the filter, and also check your coating application speed. Input five is for wash prime. When you select the lower position on that same toggle switch, input five will turn on. This will allow you to go ahead and Put a lens on. When you press start with 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 11 on, it'll perform the wash prime function. This will send the spindle down and it will start spinning the lens and water will pump. One more thing you need to keep in mind is that your dump valve is going to be active at this time. When you're completed with the wash prime cycle, you will hit cycle stop and it will come back up. At this point, you turn or you will open your door, remove your lens. And that will complete your wash prime sequence. Six, again, is your chuck switch, your vacuum chuck. This is the switch that determines whether your vacuum system is on or off. Number seven, again, is your vacuum signal. Without a number seven signal, the machine will not go into its primary function of coating your lens. It will not start. It will not go down. This is one of the primary reasons for Mini 2's not starting. Check to make sure that your number 7 light is on. Number 8 again is spindle up. This is the sensor located more towards the top of your lift cylinder assembly. Again, a red LED will indicate that that sensor is active and it will send a signal to input number eight. The machine also needs input number eight on in order to start a cycle. Input number nine is swing arm right. This is a sensor located on the lower portion of the lift cylinder when your swing arm is in the right position or over the coating bowl, 
The sensor should have a red illuminated LED light indicating that it is reading the position. Number 10 is swing arm left. This is also a sensor with a red illuminated light when in the left position. It is also necessary to start your wash cycle. And again, number 11 is your safety door. This is also needed to start your cycle. That's your safety door closed, safety door open, closed, open. Remember, you need to have lights 6, 7, 8, 10, and 11 illuminated in order to start a cycle. If at any point the proper input switch is not active during a cycle, it will not continue forward with the cycle. If you have any questions, concerns, or are having trouble determining where an issue lies with your machine, please feel free to call Ultra Optics Technical Support at 800-365-9993 or email us at technicalsupport at ultraoptics.com. If you found this video informative or useful, Please feel free to leave any feedback with customer service.